So we'll call out some players and some drafts and see what the hell is going to go on this game. So, on the side of Lorem Ipsum, a lot of stand-ins. My pro will be playing the Venomancer. Bomb or Boom Bell will be on the Coddle. We see Open Fearless will be on the Puck. And those are three stand-ins, mind you. Fame Man or Fame Mao, my apologies, will be on the Rubik. And finally, we have the Monkey King, of course, hidden as a courier. And I can't see the man's name, so we'll just look this way. And that's Dog Brain on the Monkey King. Meanwhile, on the side of Fire Dragoon on the Dire, we have Adam playing the Necrophos. We do have Bryant, who will be, or Bryant, will be on the Earth Spirit. We have an LC being played by Alacrity. Anti-Mage will be played by Arjit. And finally, we have Yang, who will be playing AA. So let's see how this game goes for either team. I feel like the uh, the side of Lorem Ipsum do have to finish a lot earlier than the side of Fire Dragoon. Already going for an attempt at first blood and maybe a bounty rune still here. Female. They're going to have to get into pretty good position though. Ajit, I don't think he'll die here. They are going to go for it. Female, they, he will get the bounty and Arjit gets lifted up. What are they going to use here? They have the Illuminate, which isn't really going to help and they don't get anything out of this. The die will just back off. Arjit cops a bit of damage, but he has plenty of tangos and he'll be absolutely fine through all this. Female, he's a bit deep though. Bryant, he's got that Orb of Venom and the roll in if he wants to use it and he will. And Female could be in big, big trouble here. In fact, he might. he's just going to cop so much damage. He's running into Roshan Pit just in case he needs to. And I think Brain will just keep going because he has the roll in a few seconds. Fame Mao still trying to juke. Now gets cold feeded up. Gets rolled into the uh, the Roche Pit but rolls back out. Can he get the last hit? Doesn't look like he can. Those brown boots from Fame Mao are a bit too much. Although Brian is still around the cold feet again. Yang will pick that one up and that was an easy first blood. Just a bit of a chase coming out. From Fire Dragoon, but very questionable coming out from the Rubik. That Orb of Venom really haunted him for most of that chase. It will be aggressive tri lanes against each other on the uh, on the top lane. Of course, as we know, the. Uh, the C region and players do love taunting. I can't blame them. I think it's a great part of the game. Mid lane. Looks like there might be some action. Brain ready to roll in when necessary. But he won't. I don't think they'll be able to kill. Although level 2 overwhelming odds. If he places it perfectly with a couple creeps. It could be done. Brain's getting ready for it. And I think Alacrity is too. He is right next to the creeps right now. This would be probably the perfect opportunity to go for. And Ajit with the cheeky pause claiming settings. I don't know about that one. Overwhelming odds incoming. There it is. My pro. Very low right now. But there was no roll in from the Earth Spirit. He actually goes to the top lane. In fact, he farms Boom Bill. And he does not get the bounty. Just try, gives him a bit of a smack. Another overwhelming odds comes in. My pro actually in a lot of trouble. And there's going to be a roll in coming from the Earth Spirit. There it is. He does end up missing it though. Now Alacrity's in trouble. They will get the kill on Alacrity. Can he get out? Yes, he can. Brain will take the brunt of the tower hits. Meanwhile, bot lane. It looks like Adam's having a great old time at bot lane. Open Fearless can't really do much against a Necrophos, unfortunately, as a puck. Although he still does hit like a truck. And the orb, he might actually get a kill here onto Adam. The roll in from Brain again to save the day. And in fact, the stun is there as well. Opens in trouble now. He keeps getting slowed up by Brain. He has an orb in just a moment, but he might tick out and he does. So Brain making the plays. And that is why the, he has the word God in his name. Because that's what he's playing like right now. Just perfect rotations coming out from this Earth Spirit. And this is what makes that hero so damn strong. Is the ability to get in so fast and create havoc for the opposing team. And he's just going to be able to go again. And open this early. 
If he uses the orb to farm, he's probably going to get jumped on straight away. Adam's pretty low on HP, though. Oh, mana, though, I should say, but... Brain doesn't really care. He can roll in. He might even go... Yeah, he, yeah, he actually is. Hits him once. The orb is there. The roll straight to the orb, but he does not orb in. Smart play from open. Brian tried his best. Well, they're going to they're keep going here. And there's the stun. Now the slow as well. He has the phase shift available, but the TP is coming in. And Fame out. What can he really do here? Apparently not much. Brian, he's going to be able to set up another kill. And Adam will pick that one up. Fame out is extremely low as well. So Brian's going to go for a roll in, it looks like. Unless he doesn't know. But Fame out kind of shows himself almost. Brian, he's going for the bounty room. But he can really turn this around. And he probably will. Fame out. A bit of questionable positioning, and he's going to roll in for this, but he gets denied to the neutrals. So Rubik, bit of a play there, but it felt somewhat unnecessary that he had to die for the sake of, you know, chasing for the bounty rune that he had no chance at. But nevertheless, decisions were made. Mistakes were probably made as well. Adam's still dominating this lane pretty much. He's uh past last hits in term uh, he's past last hits in comparison to the puck. That's a puck safe lane. This just shows you how strong the Necro is. Alacrity. Currently jungling actually. So he's let go of that mid lane for a bit. One of the advantages Lorem Ipsum do have is the fact that Venno can really dominate any mid any mid against any hero. Dog Brain. Gets a Jingu Mastery going, but gets stunned up. And again, Brain in perfect position. Waiting for the Boundless Strike. Hits it on the Anti-Mage. Not going to get the kill though, I don't think. Ajit. He has the Blink in a few seconds, although he's being slowed up. Now the Illuminate comes in as well. And the Fade Ball will do the job from Fame Owl. And you almost forget that that blink is such a long cooldown at the level 1 at 12 seconds. Roll in again. They do get the stun off onto the Venno. My pro, he's in a bit of trouble, but they will not continue. They could not get in range for the duel. Now he's copying a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Adam kills off the puck bot, the bot lane. Alacrity... Getting chased up still. So much damage being taken by that uh, the tick damage from the poison. The Gale might actually tick him out. And I think it will. Alacrity will end up going down a Boom Bell anyway. The 2-5 to five so far. Six and a half minutes in. The Dyer are again rotating to the bot lane. Open could be in a lot of trouble here. He goes on to Adam, but he's used that orb now. Reaper Scythe not available. The roll in does miss Brain. Can he get the stun? Oh, the face shift does dodge, but the cold feet, it will freeze him up, and it does. They get the kill again. My pros here. He could get a return killer onto the Earth Spirit, but can he really if he can't see him? The Gale might just tick him out, though, because that's so much damage. He does roll out. Adam, he's going to give his life away. No, the Ghost Shroud. And the TP out. It looks like he will be successful. Although Brain does go down. And does give a killing spree away. But that was literally the Venomancer. Just ticking away with the Poison Sting. And the Gale. Yang. Looking to make something happen in mid lane again. Open. He's died so many times now. The man's probably just sick of it. Four deaths. Seven and a half minutes in. Alacrity. He's got that jewel available. And Brain again is looking for that opportunity. The jewel. They do get it. The roll in. The silence as well. Can they deal enough damage? The cold feed is there. And no, they don't. But they can still get the kill. But they don't. It looks... No, they did. Yang got it. And now they'll just back off. 
Yang, he's still alive through all this, and he will manage to get out successfully. So that's the fifth time the Pucks died, and this is looking really bad for the side of Lauren Ipsen right now. Down the strike, Ajit. He'll be okay. He has the Ring of Health. Meanwhile, Bryant, he will run into Dog Brain, but they stun him, silence him, roll into him. He has the Jingu Mastery still, though. Brain, he's in a bit of danger here. He runs out. The ult is used from the Monkey King. Yang is very low indeed as well. But Dog Brain, they're just going to wait out that ulti. Boundless Strike actually missed as well. Dog Brain, he still has the Jingu Mastery. Mana's being drained, but then again, Coddle gives it back to him. Dog Brain, the stun will miss. And Arjit wants to keep chasing. He will end up backing off. He won mid lane. Lacrity gets a kill onto Fame Owl. Three to eight so far, and I believe we're all somewhat we're all somewhat surprised that Lauren Mipsum is not doing very well at the moment. But they do have three standards, so the coordination may just not be there between these uh, these three to two or Fire Dragoons just playing amazing, which they are. Dog Brain comes in, Ajit will just blink out immediately. He's not having the best time at this uh, this safe lane. They're really concentrating on making sure he doesn't get any farm. And they're being quite successful in that as well. Although there will be a gank coming in. Adam is here. He does have the Reaper Scythe available. Ghost Shroud as well. Dogbrain's in big trouble here. The Reaper Scythe will do a lot of damage, but not the kill. The Balance Strike, though. So much damage. They take out two. They get the Monkey King with the Cold Feet, but two down. And those are two massive kills. Now they could get Yang as well. The wards are there, and it looks like they will find him. The Cold Feet is there as well, but my pro will just back the hell out of there and... He'll get frozen, but it doesn't really matter too much. Three go down for the side of Fire Dragoon. And this is probably what Lauren Mipson really needed to get going. Radiant. They got that tower at the bottom of the mid lane. Looks like Puck could be a target again. Brain is in the area. Top lane is going down and will go down with no defense coming out from the Dire. Ajit just gives up on that and gets to farming in the jungle. He needs to get that Battle Fury ASAP. And it's already extremely late. Well, it's not late, but by the time he gets the Battle Fury, he's probably looking at, you know, past 15 minutes. They do roll into the Dog Brain and stun Silence and he will go down. The Jewel is there as well from Alacrity. And at the end of the day, you can take down that AM as much as you want, but if the jewels keep going up on Alacrity, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Now they're picking out bot lane again, open. The A ultimate, the roll in as well. The stun barely misses because of the phase shift. He silences up as well and orbs out. Beautifully played by open. Adam. Has the Reaper Scythe, so if, if Open does show himself, he's practically dead. Right, not much mana available on him right now. His raindrops, unfortunately, all got used up. Alacrity. Might get caught out here. Boom Bill finds him. They commit the Dream Call as well. They're throwing everything at him, and Alacrity does end up dropping. And it looks like they'll continue pushing this tier 2, bo this tier two top. Meanwhile... Adam takes the tier 1 bot, and he'll keep going, realizing that nobody's going to come defend at this point. Dyer's 
middle tower is drowning. T2. He's going down. A. Ulti comes in, stunning from Brian and the silence as well, but the heal from the LC, or I should say Faymel who stole it. Brian will survive through all that. Brian almost dropping, in fact. There's the heal from the real LC. Keeping him alive. This Venno is being a real pain, and he hasn't even skilled up Poison Nova. Bot lane is being pushed in, but Arjit, he hasn't really got the damage right now to deal that much damage to a tier 2 tower. Looks like Lorem Ipsum, understanding the urgency right now. They do have a timing with their draft that they do have to hit. You cannot out, uh, out farm an anti-mage late. With the heroes you currently have, unfortunately. Oh, they make a jump on Park. He looks like he's in big trouble. In fact, sorry, it wasn't Park. It was actually the Monkey King. My apologies. Now they're going to find Park. Open. He will drop the coil. Brain in big trouble. Still juking around the trees right now. But he will end up dropping, it looks like. Unless he rolls out and he does. But he runs into Boom Bill. So Boom Bill, what positioning from him? And again, I feel like they're, they're hitting their timing much better. Well, they're going to... I mean, their, their timing is essentially take it as late as, as possible. Dog Brain on the Monkey King. He is going for a Diffusal Blade. Now, mind you, Monkey Kings have been proven to be pretty good late game these days. But I don't know. Up against some... Up against some anti-mage that can, you know, split push as well as team fight got the necro as well as the lc i don't know if you can really take these uh these heroes late oh it looks like dream core mid lane they'll find brain again and a high priority pick off apparently according to them and I can't blame them the, the map feels a lot safer when he's not on there Like open. Got that blink dagger. So he will be able to initiate a lot better now. Boom Bell. He's actually got a four staff as well and he's going straight in. Battle Fury is now up though. So farm will will escalate quite a lot for this anti-mage. Venno. Just got a hood of defiance. Almost got that four star as well, but... 
I do I do really question if this uh if this draft can keep up. Dog brain. Got that full defusal now as well. Lacrity running in has the sh well has an invis actually has the full blink up as well. They know he's in the tre trees right now, but it's just too hard to find him while he's in that tree. They are gonna rotate the top lane. The coil was dropped. They get the necro. They're going after Brain instead. Actually, the A ultimate comes out as well as the poison nova. The reaper scythe, and they want the monkey king dead. What the hell is going on here? They find the jewel. Who is it on? They found my pro. Dog brain went down as well. Alacrity. He's killing everyone right now. And then actually Rubik stole. No, wait a minute. It was Bright with the kicks. And again, he got fame out the, at the back lines. But two go down for the side of Lauren Ipsum. And they do get the Necro. A ultimate comes out, does end up missing Boom Bill. If he hadn't missed, Brian probably would have thought about that. Going in for the roll and, and the stun. Smoke comes out from Laura Mipsum. The thing is with this team, they can push so fast if they find a few good pickoffs. Alacrity might be the one they need, although he blinks out immediately and goes straight towards the jungle. But this should be an easy kill for the team. They do jump in. Silence Coil is dropped as well, though he TPs and they can't know they can. The lift and the balance strike was there. So good pickup coming out. Boom Bill. He's up in the trees at the top lane right now. I'm going to reveal his position as well with that illuminate. E1 mid will end up dropping. My pro will pick that one up. Damage. Brian. Thinking about the roll again, but he needs some help. And that's one of the things about the Earth Spirit these days is you can't really go for solo kills at this stage of the game. Like the mid to late, you, you can't go for any solo kills. You always need another person nearby to help you out. Alacrity, he's got a bottle double damage and this might prompt them to smoke and they will. The question is where do they go? Open might show himself at the bot lane. Not the easiest kill, but of course if they get the jewel it's a base.
Oh, but wait a minute. They found two. The orb will connect and the dream call. Oh, this is going to be really bad for, for Dragoon. And it looks like they're all going to go down. Lacquery trying to fight and he's actually doing a good job, but... Won't be enough and beautifully rotated from Lauren Mipson. And things are suddenly starting to even out a bit in this game. Laura Mipsum looking a lot more confident. Playing a lot better and coordinating a lot better as a team. Not going to be easy to push into this team either thanks to Boom Bell. You can really see when the Earth Spirit starts dropping off because at this stage of the game you can't really do anything anymore until your team is ready to go. So the roaming Earth Spirit kind of has to just sit back and try and farm a bit at this point. And it really does hurt the, uh, the hero. In like, fact, I don't think we've even seen one Magnetize used yet, and just because it, he's never had the real opportunity to use it. Again, I, I don't believe he can go for any solo kills on this map. Everyone, Everyone's just too tanky. Top lane, they may have a go here. Baymail is around the area, and they know Boom Bell's around as well. Looks like they are going to have a go, but they didn't get the jewel off because they used the overwhelming odds, and there will be a quick TP away from Fei Mao. Dog brain. Looks like he will end up going for a BKB. So he wants to be able to stand there and man fight. And not fall victim to the, uh, the Reaper Scythes and everything else that's coming in. Oh, they've lifted up the Necro, and this is going to be bad. Adam, he's in big trouble. The Poison Nova comes out onto two as well. Can they stop them, though? The Boundless Strike will hold him in place. The Gale as well. There's so much tick damage coming out onto Adam, but he's healing through it. Although, that's going to be still a lot of damage that comes out. The Pipe did help as well, of course. It still loses half his HP through all that heal on that Pipe. That's just the strength of the Venno. Arjun, meanwhile, he's got the full Manta style now. So last time we saw him, he just had the Battle Fury. Now things have changed a bit. Aghanim Scepter, available on Boom Bell as well now. And they're going for a dual attempt, but the Blinding Light comes out. Although the roll in and the stun, Boom Bell's in trouble here. And in fact, Dogbrain's going to go down. Arjun gets that one. Now they'll find the Coddle. They'll get him as well. And they'll get the dual damage. Double kill for Arjun. Are they rotating to the Roshan pit? I think they just might be. In fact, yeah, they are. Got that they got that medallion on, on Yang and look how easy it makes it. And he does have a double damage actually on the Legion Commander again. He's hitting for over 400 damage, about 450 in fact. And they just found Puck as well. Open! Drops the call onto three, actually. That's a pretty darn good call, but can they get the kills? They get one onto Bryant. Still. Who's got the Aegis? It is the AM that has it. Everyone else on the side of Fire Dragoon will just back off for the time being. They will have to wait. So everyone respawns and then group up again, maybe have a smoke, because you want to take advantage of that Aegis. Not to mention the fact that AM just picked up a Basher as well. Jewel incoming, and they'll find the Rubik, and oh, the Blinding Light actually may save him for the time being. He won't get the damage, now the full stop, and female gets out. Beautifully played by the Coddle.
So Alacrity, not going to be happy about that. And how could you be? Ajit. He knows, they know the Monkey King, the Reaper Scythe committed. If they can get some bashes on, and they do before the Boundless Strike comes out. Now the Manta as well. Was that a dodge? I think he just dodged the Boundless Strike with the Manta. While all this is going on, the bot lane is still being pushed in thanks to the Coddle. They're just going to keep applying that pressure on the bot lane. You always have to kind of go back and defend. Because you don't want that T3 taking too much damage. T2 now being pushed in by Ajit. This is, like I said, this is when the anti mage gets a bit silly. Still, he's going for that farm. And it looks like he will be going straight into the Abyssal Blade. Just needs that final, uh, the Vitality Booster for the full Vanguard. And he will just pick it up now. Bot Tower, though, still being pushed in thanks to Adam. Meanwhile, top being pushed in by the side of Lorem Ipsum. They do get a good scan out there. Final Lacrity as well. That was a beautiful guess. And now they can prepare for it. Dogbrain is in the area ready to go. He does show himself. So does Open. A ultimate. They're going to go for a duel. It looks like the phase shift is there. The tower went down. They'll find the Rubik. And that'll be a bit of duel damage going to the way of the LC. Ajit comes in as well, looking for somebody. TP's out all over the place. And all they'll get for their trouble is a pesky Rubik and a bit of jewel damage. So up to 80 jewel damage now by 31 minutes. Not too bad at all. But at the end of the day, you definitely want a bigger kill. There will be a rotation coming in from Lorem Ipsum. They want to have a go at Alacrity now. The coil is committed. And they use everything. But he goes in via the balance strike as well. They're doing a lot to try and kill this man. The Monkey King ultimate as well. And Dogbrain, you don't want to fight in that at all. Although they are having a go at the Venomancer as well. He's cold feet it up. Ajit comes in. And he'll take care of him himself. The silence from Puck. Monkey King's been yulsed up and stunned up, and he's going to be in trouble as well. Ajit's just the janitor right now, just cleaning everyone up. Open, fearless. He's the only one left in the trees right now, and he will just blink the hell out. And this will be a tier 2 going to the way of Fire Dragoon once again. Aegis has expired. Of course, it does heal up the anti-mage to full HP and mana, which is a nice little feature that they added a while ago. I thought it was nice. Boom Bill. Got that gem now. They can really uh, make sure they've got some, some kind of uh, map control going on. They now got a blink dagger himself, so he can steal those spells a lot easier and get in position to use them. The Yasha picked up on Veno as well as the Hurricane Pike, and he's going for a uh, Diffusal Blade. Well, they are going to smoke up. Who are they seeing? Alacrity is Invis, and now shows himself for a bit, but. Still makes a run for it. They are going to run to Ajit. Now that's a massive kill if they can get it. But that's also a very hard kill. 
He's got that full abyssal. They do get a lot, but they're throwing everything at him, but he manters out. The Battle Strike here too, though. The Coil as well, but the Reaper's Sight, the BKB from Dogbrain, they're going to just take him out. The Jewel, but the Blinding Light again saves him at the end of the day. And it looks like LC will lose that one. They'll get the Monkey King anyway. Two down for the side of the Radiant. And now they have to back off, and it looked good for them for a second, but apparently not. Bryant looking for the stun attempt right now. Gets Manalik and Force Stuff. Now he's stunned up. They can't keep going, apparently. This Coddle is being so bloody frustrating throughout all these fights. They still get two for one, though. And I think they'll be relatively happy with that. They'll just go Shrine up, reset, and go again. They may even just wait for Ajit to have that full butterfly that he's going for right now. Before, uh, before they engage a third time. Once you're this close to it as well, you don't really want to, you know, continue fighting when you don't need to. Because the butterfly really makes it impossible to kill you. Also, of course, your damage output, damage output gets kind of ridiculous. It will be a fight bot lane. Adam might get caught out. He does get Gale. Boundless Strike as well. They throw everything at him. He's ghost shrouded up. Still alive through all this. Still running back. And they still haven't killed him. Now they do. Brain trying to back off himself. Will roll out. But he looks like he has been mana leaked. And will die. Double kill goes to Dog Brain. A lot of gold went to the side of Lauren Ipsum for those two kills. They smoke up immediately and they want to have another go. They want to keep this momentum going. Roshan now, this time around goes to Lorem Ipsum. Bit of a change of pace going on here. And that will mean they get a cheese as well. They'll give that one to the Monkey King. In fact, they give the Aegis to the Monkey King. So he gets both. I did not imagine that the uh, Monkey King will get the Aegis as well. I thought that they would give it to the Venno or the Puck. So that's uh, that's questionable. But then again, the Monkey King, already really hard to kill. Then you give him a second life. And he deals out a lot of damage at this stage of the game still. There will be a smoke and it looks like Fire Dragoon are not afraid of the fact that they're going up against an Aegis. Open. If he gets caught out, it would be an absolute disaster for the Radiant. And he will, Bryant. No, the phase shift is there. He blinks straight out of there and orbs Adam. He needs to find him. And will they? No, they won't. One of the positives of that puck, of course, is you can juke so hard. They are going to push this mid lane regardless. Ajit, does he have the butterfly? Yes, he does. And still has 2.7k gold in the bank, apparently. There's not much to really be afraid of, it feels, on Fire Dragoon. Ajit will be getting a BKB as his last item. And then he will be 6-slotted. And the only room he really has left after that is getting rid of those boots, maybe getting boots to travel or some, some other item, but I don't feel like it'd be really necessary by that point. Open. Has to be very careful not to get jeweled. Does not have a Lincoln Sphere either, so he can't block it. They're going to push that top lane. They're going to try and force the, uh, the die back, but... If, it almost feels like the die could just push into the mid, although the Venno wards are very frustrating. 
Oh shit. Stopping the push at the top lane by destroying that creep wave, although there is still creeps at the top ready to go. And now he'll start pushing that mid himself. Those Veno wards are, are, are a big problem. There's a lot of things stopping them from going to the high ground. A lot of delaying going on from the side of Lorem Ipsum. And it will actually force them back. Ajit will actually end up TPing back to the base. He'll grab that full BKB. Might even go save up for his buyback first. And then commit to it. But his net worth is ridiculous right now. We all know Ajit is an, is an amazing player. Like, uh, he's, he's basically, you know, barely not in the tier 1 scene. I imagine he'll be there probably sometime this year, if not next year, in the pro scene. And you can kind of see why. Because he finds farm out of absolutely nowhere. He's going to that bot. They want that tier 2, so they can open the whole map up. Start going for those tier 3s with confidence. And uh, it drops relatively easily. Ajit, going to keep going for the time being. Might need some help. Top lane, I mean bot lane, sorry, open fearless. Getting pulled back by the coddle. Was pushing though. And Adam will actually TP back and defend that one. So again, a lot of hesitation coming out from both teams to, to commit, but the thing is, if they lose the team fight, they lose the game almost. A lot of the buybacks that are available are currently on the Radiant. The Anti-Mage and Necro do have buybacks on the side of the die though, and those are the real important ones. And LC actually just got hers as well. My pro. Bots out the AA, and they actually get a duel onto the Venom man. So the blind light didn't matter through the BKB. Now the Monkey King ulti comes in. Ajit's going to go for a fight onto Dogbrain. No, in fact, he goes on the Rubik, takes him out immediately, and he completely ignores the Monkey King. He doesn't want to have a bar of him. Brain, meanwhile, is just delaying him, and they've taken down two. They've forced the buyback from Rubik. The Coddle's gone as well. He'll probably buy back in a second. They find Dog Brain. He has the Aegis. He'll be back in a moment. Ajit just silenced up for the time being. Now lifted up, but they're going to get the Rubik a second time, and that's going to be a dieback for him. Faye Mao, he really couldn't do much there. Now they've found the pocket. It's a rampage for Ajit. My goodness. Oh. And I was just saying he'd get to the tier 1 tier. Eventually, it's a, excuse me, a double rampage. That's a, yeah, that's a GG call. Extremely well played. Ah, shit. Styling all over Lorem Ipsum right now. And Fire Dragoon will pick up game.